All right, guys, welcome back. <clears throat> um, I've got myself a 2014 Chevy Equinox, and this Equinox had a host of problems, but it was a stability track issue. Um, this is a separate one from the other one that I'm looking at. Um, they just stated, the customer states that the stability control light is on. Um, I did a code scan on it, and there is a host of codes in here. Um, you can see invalid data received from the steering wheel angle sensor, um, steering position signal, um, calibration and data not programmed. These are all coming out of the um, ABS module. Lost comms with the multi-axis acceleration sensor module. Control module comm chassis extension can bus off. Lost comms with the steering wheel angle sensor module. And I'm going to do my best guys to do this video as quick as I can. Um, I'm at work, so I'm kind of limited. But uh, loss comes with the multi-axis acceleration sensor module. Um, these ones are coming out of the rear diff control module. Loss comes with the steering wheel angle sensor module, and then CAN bus com fault. Um, and then in the steering wheel angle sensor itself, I got a CAN bus com fault as well. Now, when I did the uh, code scan. The uh, the code scan, um, I could not go into the uh, steering angle sensor, which is underneath this steering wheel. And you can see I'm back probed into its connector, but the steering angle sensor lives right there, basically like the clock spring. But um, anyways, I could not communicate with that. And I also could not communicate with the um, multi-axis acceleration sensor, la um, accelerometer, whatever you want to call it. Now that sensor lives under this console. And I uh, did not want to have to tear this whole center console out to disconnect it to find the issue. So I went to the next easiest thing, which is the steering angle sensor. Um, and if you look... And I'll go over this in a part two, um, how these data lines work, but if you look right here, this is a um, serial CAN bus, or computer data lines basically for the whole vehicle, but if you look here, we've got the rear diff control module here, our multi-axis acceleration sensor here, and then our steering angle sensor here, and up here is our ABS module. Okay, and <clears throat> in a nutshell, what we have is we have an open in the um, harness back by the rear differential clutch uh, module. All right, and I found where it rubbed through, and I'll show you that once I lift the vehicle up. But uh, I'm basically right now I'm back probed in to these two at the bottom here, can high and can low. Oh, I can't even see those. What is that, pin one and pin three at the steering angle sensor. And that, if you follow those two up, is coming, that signal you're looking at on my scope right now is coming from the engine brake control module. So you can see there we've got our can signal, can high and can low. Looks pretty normal. Um, but let's take a look at what uh, pins three, uh, pins two and four, which come up and over and into our rear differential clutch module. Let's see what that signal looks like. All right, so I'm back. I'm back probed in on pins uh, two and four, which is the signal coming from the rear differential clutch module and you can see that CAN bus does not look anything like any CAN bus I've ever seen. Um, clearly this is not um, a normal signal. So once I seen that I immediately knew I had an issue obviously. So um, what I wanted to do was start unplugging and I unplugged the rear diff module and the signal of course went away. So um, in order for me to confirm whether or not I had a bad clutch module 
or I had a bad multi-axis sensor module, or if maybe I had a bad steering angle sensor. If you look on here, and again, I'll go through this in detail in another part, um, there is a connector, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that X411 that is shared with the multi-axis acceleration module. Since I know this is disconnected right now, I know that my steering angle sensor um, is not the issue. So what I did to confirm that the multi-axis sensor, um, acceleration sensor here, this module wasn't the issue, is I went to X411, which lives, and I will show you. All right, so here is connector X411. I'm at the driver's rear wheel right now. You can see that I depinned the can high and can low connections from that multi-axis acceleration sensor to get it out of the equation. And um, of course our signal didn't change. What I noticed, however, as I inspected this harness is we got an open. So right there in that harness, runs right above the rear differential. If you look, and I pulled that wire out of there, but you can see where it's rubbed through the conduit. And that is our comm line. That is our, that's our wire guy. That's our guy right there. So we have opens, um, no sense in going any further. This harness has to come down and be repaired. So I just thought I'd show that. I know it's quick, down and dirty, but uh, pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, make a part two and kind of explain more, but I'm under the gun and I got to get it fixed. So thanks.